Morning! Guess everything that happened yesterday wasn't just a dream then. Well, it's time for our next fairy tale adventure! We should head to the station Grandpa Almond told us about. Get up, Sedjul. Time to get to work, you lazy bones. Oh, oh, oh I can't, uh, can't remember how to call the train. Just let me sleep a little longer, and I'm sure I'll remember. Don't try to pull one over on me, young man. Your fading disorder has been cured. I saw you chugging cup after cup of magic tonic in the tavern last night. Uh, you must be mistaken, Grandpa Alman. That guy definitely wasn't me. Oh, you remember my name now, do you? Then it seems like you're all better. You had no idea who I was when you were fading. Now, enough of your nonsense. Get up. The fairy and her friends are going to be here any second. All right. I'm up. I'm up. The Maritime Express should be here soon. <laughs> That's more like it. Ah, lie there any longer and you'll start gathering dust. Uh, is everything okay? 
the hero, her pixie companion, and the forest fairy. I didn't know you were already here. Oh, merciful macadamias. I'm sorry you had to see that. Oh, it's all right. Paimon knows the feeling. Who doesn't want to sleep in first thing in the morning? Does the Maritime Express run out of Constellation Metropole? Uh, yes, e each train needs a conductor to operate, and the conductors are always from the capital. The more difficult maneuvers are a little too complicated when you're made of paper. Oh, so you mean the people of Constellation Metropole aren't origami animals like you? Well, the, the city welcomes visitors from all over the world, so you're bound to run into some forest dwellers there. But yes, generally speaking, the residents of Constellation Metropole look quite different from us. Ah, you'll see for yourself soon enough. Here comes the train. Pleasure to meet you, everyone. My name is Wheel, and I'll be the conductor for your journey today. I'm assuming you're the one to call the train. Whoa, it's a little toy man! Yes, we, we call the train. The hero and the forest fairy need a ride to Constellation Metropole. The, the hero and the forest fairy? The ones from the prophecy? Oh, why didn't you say so earlier? We could have prepared a far more luxurious train. I'll just go back and get a better one. That's okay, Mr. Wheel. We're trying to get to the city as fast as possible. We just need you to get us across the sea. In your capable hands, I'm sure we'll get there in no time. Uh, of course, my lady. It would be an honor. Well then, all aboard, sit anywhere you like. We'll get a stunning view of Simulanka no matter where you're seated. <sighs> oh, breakfast. <sighs> hmm? Did one of you just say something? Wasn't me either. Uh, breakfast. Um, oh, come back. Hmm. Sounds like the voice is coming from inside the train. <sighs> Fish. Chicken drumsticks. Oh. Gotcha. Oh. What the? What's Kirara doing here? Is she a friend of yours? Let Paimon introduce you. This is Kirara. She's... Oh, wait. Actually, maybe we should wake her up first. <sighs> so noisy. <laughs> I I is it morning already? felt super real. There were these toy people, but they were alive and they could talk. <clears throat> Madam, sleeping overnight in the train car is prohibited. Uh, it, it wasn't just a dream? It's alright, Kirara. Apparently we're in a world called Simulanka. We got here yesterday, too. Simulanka? So, that's what it's called. I spent all day yesterday wandering around this one city. Uh, the toy people called it Constellation Metropole. I was trying to find a way to get back home. <sighs> I was seriously starting to think I'd gotten on the bad side of some great yokai and 
gotten swallowed whole. Huh. I take it you're Inazuma then, Miss Kirara? She sure is. But, uh, Kirara here is kinda special. Let Paimon introduce you for real this time. Kirara is a Nekomata from Inazuma. She works as a courier for Komania Express. Huh. Nice to meet you. I'm Nilu, a member of Zubair Theater. You can usually find us performing in Sumeru City's Grand Bazaar. Right now, though, I suppose I should introduce myself as the Fairy of the Forest of Blessings. Oh, you're Nilu! I've heard a lot about you from my deliveries in Sumeru. I even saw one of your performances back in the day. You're an amazing dancer. But, uh, did you say you were a... forest fairy? Oh, yeah, that's her new identity here in Simulanka. Oh, speaking of new identities, looks like you got a new outfit yourself, Kirara! Yeah, I know! It confused the heck out of me yesterday. I just woke up in a set of brand new clothes I'd never seen before. That must mean you have a big part to play here, too! Is... is that a thing? I guess I am wearing a pair of boots, but still. Did you by any chance hear a voice speaking to you before you got here, Miss Kirara? A voice... Oh, yeah, I did hear something, but I was so freaked out my tails got all tangled, so I, uh, <laughs> didn't catch much of what was said. <laughs> sorry for the interruption. But this, uh, Nekomata friend of yours, she doesn't eat hamsters, does she? Or frogs? Oh, no need to worry, little guys. I would never do something like that. Well, unless I'd been out in the wild too long without anything to eat. Oh, speaking of eating, I am getting a little hungry. your manners, everyone. This young lady is a trusted friend of our esteemed hero. Now, I know a fear of felines is etched into us with ink, but I'm certain Miss Nekomata in boots here means us no harm. It sure looks like you're keeping your distance, though, Grandpa Almond. You will have nothing to fear, I promise. I met some origami animals in Constellation Metropole yesterday, and I even made sure to retract my claws so I didn't hurt them by accident. Plus, you all look just about as tasty as the cardboard boxes I deliver. <laughs> uh, not that I'd try to eat you even if you did look tasty. Uh, promise. Please excuse us, Mom. Uh, it's just an unconscious reaction. <clears throat> Dear passengers, it's almost time for us to depart. Oh, yeah, that. Whoops. This turned into a pretty long conversation, didn't it? All right, let's get on the train. You coming with us, Kirara? Mm-hmm. I'll ride with you to the next stop. There's a place near the Metro Bowl that caught my eye yesterday, so I want to go explore it today. Then all that remains for me to say is, on behalf of the Forest of Blessings, thank you once again for all you've done for us. May the goddess of fate be with you and bless your journey. Madam Fairy, Miss Nekomata in boots, and our brave heroes. Please do visit us in the Forest of Blessings again, once peace has returned to this land. We will. We'll definitely meet again. Take care, Grandpa Almond.
Just what will we come across this? Safe trip! Wow! A train ride over the sea? What an incredible view! Please keep your head and arms inside the train at all times. We don't want anyone falling into the sea. There's a train coming the other way too! Now that the fading disorder is cured, I'm sure the forest will be a lively place again in no time. I gotta go explore that forest at some point. It looked so pretty from the train. I just hope they, uh, won't be too scared of me. We'll be arriving at our destination shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Here we are! Constellation Metropole is right over there. It's a short walk from here to the Gear Sky Ladder, which will take you right to Metropole Square. And thank you again for choosing Maritime Express. Great! And thanks to you for a smooth and pleasant journey, Mr. Wheel. The train cars were comfortable and spacious, and I had a great night's sleep. I'll definitely be back. Um, as you wish, ma'am. place you wanted to check out nearby? Mm-hmm. I took a walk around yesterday and it felt like there was something weird about it. So, I think I'll indulge my curiosity and go investigate. Want us to come with you? It's okay. You guys go ahead and visit the Metropole for now. Hopefully, that's where you'll be able to find out some more about this world. I pretty much explored the whole place from the rooftops yesterday, but for some reason... This is the place that caught my attention. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Like, when you get a stone stuck in your claw or something, it keeps nagging at you to dig it out, but you can't focus on anything else until you do. Don't worry, if you run into any trouble, I'll be there faster than you can say Gold Level Courier of the Komania Express. Okay, fair enough. We'll head to the Metropole then. Guess this- Mm-hmm. Don't worry about me. Let's not forget, I'm a yokai. Yeah! 
A keen eye. Help me! Somebody, please! Help me! Help! Oh, goddess of prophecy above, would you kind souls please help us? What happened here? Why are you all suspended in midair? I mean, being stuck in midair still beats falling to the ground and being smashed into a pile of blocks, but... <sighs> I told him to be careful, but... No. Never mind. Now's not the time for that. My good friends, could I trouble you to turn the clockwork key over there? I'll explain everything in a bit. Oh, thank 
you. Oh, thank you. Uh, what happened there? It almost seemed like we turned back time. I take it this is your first time witnessing the power of the Goddess of Prophecy, then? If so, I can see why you might think that. Basically, this is a gift bestowed upon Constellation Metropole by the Goddess of Prophecy, who rules over the natural course of all things. It helps those who have deviated from their proper path to get back on track. Proper path? Do you mean everything that happens in the Metropole has been planned out since the very beginning? Why are you saying that as if it's a bad thing? You're not explaining it clearly. Here, allow me. Of course, all the residents of the Metropole have the freedom to live their own lives. For instance, whether I use olive oil or sesame oil in my morning skincare routine is entirely my choice. But whenever something disastrous is about to happen, like when I almost got turned into a pile of rubble just now, the Goddess's magic will activate in the world around us. So, in other words, it's kind of protection magic to keep people alive? You could say that. There are other situations in which it activates too, but that's basically correct. Well, in any case, we're glad no one's hurt. Are you heading to the Constellation Metropole? Yep. Do you know where we can find the Gear Sky Ladder? Oh, it's just that platform up ahead. The one with the key sticking out. Uh, that thing? Um, are you sure? Yep, that's the one. Pretty much everything in the Metropole runs on tracks and gears. The Goddess of Prophecy watches over it all. Which is to say, all the tracks are fixed. If a machine is set up to move forwards, it'll never move in reverse. This reminds Paimon a lot of Fontaine's clockwork toys. You mean, like those music boxes with dancing figures? I think I've seen one or two from the merchants in Sumeru. Yeah, exactly like that! Anyway, sounds like it's not gonna suddenly fall out of the sky, so Paimon's okay now. Should we get going? We can't have treasure unaccounted for. step is to get to the top of the Metropole, and ask the Goddess of Prophecy for guidance. If there is a king in that castle, I sure hope he won't get mad at us for trespassing. his castle. <laughs> Paimon hopes he's not mad. Silence! The one who shall soon stand before you is the ruler of Constellation Metropole. The one who descended after a meteor shower and the protector of order and all the stars in the sky. That's a long list of titles. I bid ye welcome guests from afar. Long have I heard of your grand deeds, O oh, fairy who restored the lifeblood of the forest. 
Oh, hero, who, uh, uh huh? Now ya! Hold your foul tongue! How dare you under Her Majesty's name! <laughs> nice one, partner. Spectacular improvisation skills. I'd expect no less from you. <laughs> all right, all right. You can relax now. Allow me to make some introductions. This is the Traveler and her trusty companion, Paimon. You are personal friends with Her Majesty the King? Please, forgive our grievous mistake. We had no idea. <clears throat> all right. The welcome ceremony is over. Everyone back to your stations. I will personally treat our guests to some royal hospitality. Yes, your majesty. Oh, come on, I've already sent them off. So anyway, how did you guys get here? We were gonna ask you the same thing! Also, how are you already king of this nation? And where did you get a crown? Oh, wait, don't say it! You just woke up like this, right? Sounds like you've answered your own question. But before I woke up, I heard a voice say to me, You are the king of Constellation Metropole. Now go forth and save your city. A similar thing happened to me. Oh, yeah, sorry. You must be the fairy of the Forest of Blessings, right? Mm-hmm. This is Nilu, a friend that we made during our time in Sumeru. Nice to meet you, Miss Nilu. I'm Navia, the president of Spina di Rosula. If you ever get the chance to go to Fontaine, make sure you come and visit me. I'm based in Poisson. Seems like you're taking this all in stride. Aren't you nervous about getting stuck here and never being able to get back home? Why would I be worried about that? We've faced much bigger problems than this before, and we always pull through. This should be a piece of cake. Besides, life's always full of surprises. You gotta learn to just enjoy it. That sounds like a great outlook on life. You have a very optimistic spirit. Thanks, I'll take that. Honestly though, it also puts me at ease to find out that you guys are the fairy and heroes that I've been hearing about in this prophecy. <laughs> We're kind of veterans at dealing with prophecies by now, aren't we? Uh, about that. Has anything bad happened in the Metropole? We heard about an evil dragon. Did it make a mess here too? It sure did. Apparently, for whatever reason, he went for the stars above the city recently. Literally just flew up and started snatching them out of the sky. Luckily, the guards responded quickly and stopped the dragon from taking them back to his lair. Unfortunately, though, he dropped them before he flew off. Now they're scattered all around the Metropole. I've been out trying to retrieve them, but I only managed to get one of them before you showed up. Oh, I didn't ask yet. What brings you to the Metropole anyway? Oh, Paimon can explain! Huh, I see. So you want to consult the Oracle of the Goddess of Prophecy. Do you know how we can do that, Miss Navia? Well, the goddess's statue is indeed at the top of the castle. I can take you up there. However, I've heard from the citizens here that the goddess hasn't given out any new revelations in a very long time. Really? But Grandpa Almond told us that he received his prophecy from the goddess. Oh, that's probably because the prophecy of the hero of Simulanka has been around for a very long time. But recently, people realized that the goddess didn't reveal anything about what's supposed to happen after peace has been restored. Huh, okay. Still, can't hurt to try your luck. And maybe you can help me get rid of the invaders while we're at it. Invaders? So the dragon's not your only problem? Right. The forest isn't the only place where strange things have been happening to the residents. Have you come across the gift from the Goddess of Prophecy yet? You mean, the protection magic that stops them from coming to harm? We saw it in action. 
Yep, that's the one. Over the past little while, this magic has been triggering far more frequently. We don't know if it's simply because the Metropole has grown a lot more dangerous, or if there's a deeper reason behind it. Some residents find themselves getting stuck in a place and unable to move. Others start repeating the same thing over and over again, like they're trapped in some kind of loop. If we were to use clockwork toys as an analogy, could it be that the tracks have eroded or the gears have slid out of place? That's exactly right, Nilu. That's basically what's happening. Anyway, some of the monsters outside the city saw this as an opportunity to launch an invasion. Uh, but we didn't see a single monster on our way here. That's because I already took care of most of them over the past couple of days. Of the remaining few, we trapped some of them inside the castle and chased the rest back out of the city. Okay, so to summarize, not only... But the dragon also knocked some of the stars out of the sky. Plus, there's a bunch of monsters in the city. <sighs> Sounds like there's a lot more to fix here than in the Forest of Blessings. Well, defeating the dragon and the monsters should be straightforward enough. But how do we fix the magic? Supposedly, the goddess has had it all planned out for ages. One of her oldest prophecies says this. Go and push the gear that connects up to the starry sky. When that time comes, I shall dance and return the tracks beneath my people's feet back to the stars in the sky. Huh? But weren't the tracks the gift that she gave to her people in the first place? Does that mean she plans to take the gift back? That's what the prophecy seems to be saying, yes. So, as a result, some people are against turning the gear, despite what the prophecy says, since they fear a future where they no longer enjoy the goddess's protection. But letting this drag on isn't the answer either, is it? No, and I think they know that, but they're just too afraid to take that final, terrifying step. They're still hoping there might be an alternative solution. Now, we could ignore their objections and go turn the gear ourselves, but... Exactly. You know me well. And that's why you're my partner. I want to get as many people on my side as possible. At the end of the day, this is their city, and they should have the right to decide its future. Ooh, spoken like a true wise king, Navia. I am the boss of Spina di Rosula, after all. This may be my first time as a king, but there are a few similarities between the two roles. Traveler, Paimon, Miss Nilu, would you be willing to lend me your support? With your help, I'm confident we'll be able to find the most frictionless way to resolve the problems plaguing this city. Ah, thanks, partner. Seriously, like we'd ever say no? We're your friends! No need to ask us so formally in the future. I'm happy to help, too. This is a beautiful city, and just like the Forest of Blessings, I would love to see it return to normal as soon as possible. Ah, great! As the king of Constellation Metropole, I extend to you my gratitude. All right, everyone, follow me. I'll show you the way to the goddess statue at the top of the Metropole. And stay close. You don't want to get lost in my castle. It's huge. <laughs>